Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Thursday, 11th of April. In this update, the importance of multiple voices to question those in power is being highlighted as hundreds of journalists lose their roles in the industry. With the closure of News Hub and several TVNZ current affairs shows pulled, more than 350 roles will be cut. Auckland University Honorary Research Fellow Dr Gavin Ellis says these closures remove voices put to politicians. Plurality, you know, the, the, the fact that we have uh, a variety of news outlets is so important. The fewer you have, the less interrogation there is of people in power. The poor weather continues to plague much of the South Island. Emergency staff are positioned in Westland, with orange warnings running from south of Hokitika to Fiordland's George Sound. They also apply to Tasman, northwest of Motueka, parts of Marlborough and Buller, and as far north as Mount Taranaki. Med Service meteorologist John Law says the strong wind will begin shifting this morning. Towards places like Wellington, those southern parts of Taranaki, Wanganui, and up in towards Taihapi, and also that wet weather slowly moving in towards parts of Northland, giving it some high rainfall totals potentially there. MB is not ruling out further cuts or more job losses. The Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment's confirmed 286 full-time equivalent roles have been removed from its systems from the end of December to the end of March. It's looking to slash spending to meet a 7.5% savings target. MB spokesperson Richard Griffiths confirmed 87 of the 286 roles were removed due to stop work notices, disestablishment or legislation being repealed. Meanwhile, Doc's looking to save 6.5% from its books. 130 net rolls are proposed to be cut, with 270 jobs to be slashed and 140 proposed to be created. The majority are vacant. And forest and bird is worried about job cuts at Doc. Conservation General Manager Richard Cappy says Doc looks after a third of New Zealand's landmass. These cuts are coming out on the same day that the government's released a report saying that New Zealand communities and economy are at risk if we don't protect our natural environment. Concerns a shift to AI therapists could devalue human ones. AI platform Character.ai has seen a surge in popularity of its psychologist bot, with younger users sharing glowing reviews on social media. Victoria University lecturer Andrew Lenson says for younger people, AI feels more convenient, accessible and potentially even cheaper than real therapy. But he says relying on it as a primary source of therapy is dangerous. We're not at all confident how effective these tools are as therapists and they of course do not have any sort of personal interaction or human touch that often we find so helpful when we have therapy. Athletics has become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. Individual gold medalists at the Paris Games will pocket $84,000. French police have tightened security around Paris Saint-Germain Stadium after the threat of attacks by Islamic State before the Champions League football quarterfinal opening leg against Barcelona. Finally, South Sydney Chief Executive Blake Solly insists the NRL League Club have not planned beyond coach Jason Demetrio despite Australian test boss Mel Meninga being linked to take charge. I'm Neva Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.